Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Account Take Bites. I'm upstairs today, uh, the kids' summer holidays, skittering around. It's hard to, hard to record a video about accounting technology in peace, but I will try. Let's get started. What's been happening in the world of accounting technology? I led the email this week with Tax On Demand. So this is a new tool. Uh, so new, in fact, you've just still got a waiting list, but um, it's looking to combine AI and automation to automate the client review process, allowing accounts to identify what advice clients need in seconds. So it plugs in to year end accounting returns and um, extracts tax and accounting data and runs this through its decision engines. So do check that one out. Um, so this accounting suite. Iris has announced a strategic tie-up with proposal and payments tool Ignition, so allowing Iris customers uh, some of Ignition's more advanced functionality and now in Ignition to um, well, more access to a broader customer base. I guess um, it's worth pointing out, um, correct a couple of things in the comments, Iris has not bought Ignition. Um, excellent article here. From the PLS Alex Falcon Huerta, uh, just going through her current tech stack and how her costs and priorities have evolved as her firm has scaled. So fantastic a granular list of the software that she uses and the cost in proportion to her overall um, spending and sales. So uh, thank you so much for that, Alex. Generated a lot of ac action in the comments. Uh, what's next? Uh, Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chap, um, has gone through a new update to QuickBooks receipt capture feature. So you can now split receipts into multiple transactions. And Aaron has done a video. He seems to be very excited about it. He's he generally very excited anyway. So yeah, check that out. Um, what's next? Scottish FinTech know it. So this is a credit management platform. They've integrated with QuickBooks, so QuickBooks users can now automate their credit control process, um, checking and monitoring, payment reminders and chasers. So what's next? Uh, over to AML now. This is Zama, Zama Tech. Um, the, their AML compliance area is live, certainly a tool that seems to be getting a fair amount of traction in the anti-money laundering space. Uh, the government. UK government, should I say, has got themselves a new business council. Who is on it? Let's have a look. Um, oh, <laughs> Alison Rose, that's awkward. But the good news is Accounting Tech is on there. Sage CEO Steve Hare. So hopefully he can bring a bit of pragmatism to some of the Whitehall nonsense. And Steve Hare's also been on uh, the Jake Humphreys, the, the the podcast behemoth that is the High Performance Podcast. Uh, I think Steve goes through uh, his time as the UK's youngest FTSE 100 um, CEO and uh, what he's getting up to at Sage now. So do check that out. That's a series sponsored by PwC there. Um, what's new in Excel? Um, changing gear a little bit here, but um, yeah, I like this one. Uh, Share a section of your workbook. Uh, insert pictures into cells, bit of Airtable stuff there. Uh, that's good. And finally, uh, the Fed. They've launched their long-awaited instant payment service. So uh, this uh, allows everyday Americans to send and receive funds in seconds, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Should we, should we tell them or, or not? Okay, never mind. Anyway. Um, what I would like to tell you all about is my accounting technology email. So do, um, if you don't already subscribe, then uh, pop your address in the box below and uh, hit the yellow button. And uh, yeah, links to all the stories I featured on this newsletter today are in the description to this video. If you're watching on social, do uh, like, follow, subscribe, whatever your platform of choice um, uh, uh, requires. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.